How's it going, everybody? <laughs> awesome. You already know who I am, and uh, I just posted up a video while I was inside the coffee shop <clears throat> talking about some of the world news that I uh, discovered. I came outside. Uh, it's about 4.30, and uh, I saw a guy with what looked like a duty belt on, right? Like a police or a police or military would wear. So I was like, all right, cool. Wonder if he's carrying. He lets his kid into his car in the in the driver's seat. And meanwhile, the kid's dad is taking a picture. Um, and he turns on the flashes and light bars. And totally inconspicuous. I had no idea other than seeing the duty belt on this guy. But uh, they've got a new... Uh, new series of uh, unmarked vehicles coming out for uh, local police in this area of uh, Pennsylvania. So, when they were done taking the pictures and everything, I asked this guy, I wasn't sure if he was a, uh, if he was police or sheriff's office or what, uh, exactly, but I asked him, I, well, I told him, I said, you know what, that's pretty cool. You know, you'll be able to catch people a little bit quicker and easier. Um, you know, take care of preventing crime and all that. That's a nice piece of hardware, it looks like. And uh, I made the comment, so, you know, as long as uh, Department of Homeland Security stays out of all our business, then you're all good, right? <laughs> and his smile instantly disappeared. And he said, well, actually, Department of Homeland Security bought this. I was like, they what? You they provided you with this new piece of awesome gear. He was like, yeah. So, there goes the neighborhood. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't really think it was going to happen today. What it is, is a federal police organization getting in the middle of all our shit here in rural Pennsylvania ostensibly you know providing cutting edge equipment for local police in order to do their jobs better but what occurs as a result of that is Basically, now local and state police are becoming an extension of the federal police. As opposed to serving their neighborhood, they are now serving the national level. Think chain of command sort of thing. So, because of the fact that now this federal organization this federal agency is providing money, equipment, probably newer, higher tech weapons. We can no longer count on our local police to be policing in our best interests. It's official. They are just as much representing the money elite as DHS and its cronies are. That's the organization itself. It's still up to individual policemen to decide in each and every case to do what they know is morally right. But I don't know how much I can count on them to do that. I suppose, I mean, the fact that I'm open carrying, the guy, the guy saw my holster and my pistol and everything, and he didn't say a word about it. Even after I was made that comment about DHS, basically telling him that I don't trust the federal government. And I don't. Maybe he feels the same way. But because of his job description, he's unable to actually speak out about it without losing his job. But hopefully when the shit hits the fan, if he gets to that situation where it's a 
choice between doing what he knows is right and potentially losing his job and just following orders, keeping his job but living with the knowledge that he did something that he knew was wrong. Sure, you can cut in front of me, that's fine. I hope he makes the right decision. That's pretty much all I got for right now. I'm not going to let that kill my mood. I mean, if nothing else, I didn't get hassled for uh, exercising my Second Amendment right. You know? So. That is yet to actually happen to me on a personal level. That's, that's mainly what I got for y'all right now. Now it's time for me to go get myself cleaned up, maybe do a little laundry. I don't know if I got enough time. I'm going to be meeting some friends tonight. I told you all about the fact that I'm uh, permanently disqualified from getting into the Army. Basically, it's... No more military for me. But you know what? I, I I see that as a sign. Just a little nudge that maybe I was going in the wrong direction. So I just have to trust. Because I know that there's, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. If I was supposed to get in, then I would have gotten in. I'm not supposed to get in. My path is somewhere else. And I don't even have to figure out where that somewhere else is. I just have to recognize when the time comes for me to make that choice and follow that path to actually do it. Until then, I think, uh, I think I'm doing a good job continuing to spread the word, you know, it's going to come down to that, to that sort of choice for all of us, do what you know is right, or save your face and save your job, Now for your local weather report, <laughs> I saw moderate amounts of chemtrails this morning, <sighs> but nothing this afternoon. Lots of clouds in the sky. I'm not sure whether they're due to the uh, chemical spraying in the morning or if they're all natural. Now, I started to wonder if there's uh, maybe something in the air in addition to what has already been in there, in the air. I've noticed that I'm having a lot more trouble collecting my thoughts and putting them into words. I'm having a lot more trouble typing. I'm having a lot more trouble texting. Um, I get a lot more spelling errors. And I'm one of those people, that, like, anytime I see a spelling error, I gotta fix it. I don't, I don't just, like, let it go. I hate that shit. But it's happening more and more, and I don't know if I'm just, uh, my mind's not in a good place, or if I'm, or if it's something external affecting me. We shall see. I'm a little hungry. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe. Keep an eye out. Don't be afraid of talking to the police in your area, like the local cops and stuff. You know, for the most part, I think for the most part as individuals, all right, you know, it's just the bad apples that get publicized. Hopefully the bad apples don't become the norm.
or maybe I'm just living in a fucking bubble here. Maybe this area of Pennsylvania just hasn't gotten hit as much as a lot of other places. You know, I see some bad stuff in the news. You know, I see a lot of ridiculous things, like I mentioned the, the crazy arrests and citations. Like, but that can't be all that's going on. I don't know. Just gotta keep on doing, doing the right thing. I think is right. Y'all stay safe now. Peace.